Simon of Racket Publishing, I wanted to show you how Notion can really automate things. Uh, yesterday, Notion announced database buttons. A few months back, they had announced regular buttons that you could embed in pages, but this is pretty cool about what you can do to automate things within a database. So let me take a step back for a second. At Racket, we use Notion for all sorts of reasons, uh, one of which is to manage a project. And make no mistake, regardless of which type of book you're writing or how long it is, a book is a project. And if you're thinking of tracking it on a piece of paper or through email or text, um, you're, in a nutshell, insane. So this is just a simplified view of two test tasks in our project plan. And I've gone ahead and used a database button that's tied to a couple of fields here and a formula. So let's say that I have a task due on January 17th. I'm going to click here on complete task and now Notion does two things once I've programmed it. A, it populates the date complete, which is today. And then B, through a formula that I learned from the freaking Notion genius Thomas Frank, Matt Props, the guy is an absolute wizard with this stuff. It actually creates a color coded formula. So let's say that I Take a look at task task two, say that four times in a row. I am going to populate it with February 2nd, so it's due in the future. And if I complete this task, boom, my date completed is today, but it tells me that I've done it two days early, in which case, boom, I get to drink a glass of champagne. This is just one of the many ways that we can automate things and at Racket focus less on the finding of documents, basic search, really the grunt work behind a book, and more on the actual fun part, which is the creative process. That's it. Thanks for watching and listening.